please to s please stand by. Give me one second here, folks. Get a few things set up. You know, you know. What up? What up? What up? One second here and I'll have the screen all taken care of. You know, got the old self-promotion thing going on here. Uh, okay, got to bring this over. To the main. Now we're going to go to the screen capture monitor two next. Yeah, same thing. So this is called Life Spaces. It was empty retail spaces, but the video kind of changed that. So here you go, Mr. Purgatory. Enjoy.
and there you go. So, kind of cool, uh, the video. To go along with the song, uh, the video stuff is all copyright free uh, footage that I uh, jacked off of Twitter. Not a Twitter, but YouTube, sorry. And uh, I have a tool that I use called 4K Video Downloader. And it'll download like a whole guy, like a whole subscribe channel. So it's about 85 videos that I downloaded from this guy. It's all copyright free stuff. And then I edited it, post-processed it in uh, 1080i, 60i with uh, a 59 uh, frame rate on it. So it's, a, it's like a 100 gig file for the video. Of course, that's not how it will be when I finish it. It'll go down to like a uh, MKV file, probably like two, three gig MKV to upload. But I uh, hope everybody enjoyed that. That's kind of what I've been working on the video um, here in Cakewalk. Uh, just uses it to play it. You can't you can't edit the video. And uh, I may do something to the end of the video to make it like, because it goes black and then, you know, uh, I'd kind of like it like the, the uh, intro. So that's, I don't know, that's how it looks right now. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, Purgatory. It's, uh, it's kind of a cool concept that, like, it was called Empty Retail Spaces, spaces at first, you know? And then it just kind of went from there to um, to something else, you know? You know? Okay. I can buy that. I mean, it just kind of stops because the music stops. And I really, I'm kind of rudimentary with uh, Vegas, you know, and all that. So uh, I can make it do what I want. I thought about putting, I'd have to go back and re-render everything, but put my DJ Renegade uh, logo in that black space at the beginning with all the crazy synthesizers and do that. That might be kind of cool. Uh, but I'd have to recompress that whole damn 100 gig file. Uh, but, you know, that's easy. It took about 30 minutes at double frame rate to do that. Uh, so, I like that idea, the, the living organic, uh, you know, uh, I guess it did kind of look living organic. Okay. Well, uh, I take your word on that. For sure, dude. You are a trusted friend and always uh, give good advice on that. It just ends. Like, that's how the song ends. So I think that's, I mean, I guess you're kind of right on that. Um, I just, it's a, it's a gnarly file to handle a 100 gig video. But like the new computer that I have eats it up. Like there is not even a stutter on that. And that's a 100 damn gig. And that's kind of what, you know, the video is nice and clear. And then I ran it, I post-processed about four different filters on it. Uh, the fisheye, the vertical lines, the TV overscan, the static and noise to make it look. I didn't want it to be crystal clear. Like the music is crystal clear, but the video is distorted. And that's kind of. If this makes any sense, it's kind of like life is kind of distorted like that, you know? That's kind of how you or I think of things kind of in terms of life isn't crystal clear and a lot of the stuff we get filtered or whatever. So uh, not to be like political. That's why I'm kind of like life question mark spaces. Uh would be going on the new album, Fear, Tired of Living in Fear. Uh, you know, I think that's kind of cool, too. So, yeah. 
that's kind of what uh, kind of what I'm going for. I, I appreciate the uh, the uh, I appreciate the my train of thought kind of aligning to somebody that's never seen this yet, and that it kind of worked out that way. Uh, I guess those strange minds and like people think alike as well. So that there's always that too. But uh, and I do appreciate that kind of a reaffirmation there is some time lapse stuff in there as well that i that I, it kind of cut over to because the, the video was like five minutes or something and the song 742 and i needed to finish it out but i couldn't find enough time lapse for 742 so i had to kind of combine the the real time action into the time lapse and it, it uh, seemed pretty seamless to me and even if it was glitchy, you would never tell it with all the post-processing on it. So, uh, and I like that the image, you know, the red hue that I gave it and the, the fisheye look, uh, the spherical, not fisheye, but it's spherical, but yeah, it's fisheye. Hell, being a photographer, we know what a fisheye is. But uh, yeah, man, that's uh, it's kind of what I was going for. Hopefully this week or next week, my new... LCD display comes in for my cars while I'll have to tear it apart and replace it. But let me uh, let me queue everything up and we'll go through this one more time if that's okay with you. Just kind of give you you know another look. Uh, so just bear with me. Thank you. Uh, that's what I'm hoping, man. You know. We're here to obviously build ourselves up and to be friends and help each other, not uh, tear each other down, I guess, you know, uh, really. Like right here, I think I want to put the, uh, put my logo.
Okay, cool. Drop the forward. Got it. Live spaces. The video time mix. I like it. That's what I needed. That's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. I I buy that. I'm 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 good with that, sir. Very much so. I needed to chat with somebody on this. Nobody's seen it except uh, my uh, significant other. So I needed to, I was going to do it tomorrow because I'm off, but I was like, hell, somebody's got to be up. <laughs> so uh, I love it. I love it. Life, question mark, spaces, the video time mix. That is freaking fan-freaking-tastic. Uh, appreciate you working that out with me, man. I think it's fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. I'll... I may add another drone or something into it. In what way? How did I? In what way? Oh, God. Uh, for sure, man. Thank you so much. Uh, means a lot, man. Means a lot. I uh, I spoke to my estranged friend the other day, and he. Uh, Went off again, called me an egotistical bitch, and said that my ego far exceeds my talent. I was like, okay, block. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. I may add another line into the synth. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I was almost thinking about the theremin in a couple of places, uh, just doing that screen that it, like that only a theremin could, uh, maybe when it goes like totally red in the video, uh, just have the theremin just well on the theremin for a little bit. Uh, it seems to like to do that. So, uh, put that in and I, I may put the, uh, TD three into it. I'm uh, not sure yet. I think it, I think the theremin may need to come into this just to add the, the, the weird factor. But, uh, so there's a couple more things I got to do before I mix the audio down, pair the video up and, uh, compress it. Yeah. Okay. Like the theremin coming in just real subtle, like just, you know. Something like that, just screaming. Just to add that, just to add kind of like that, what is that in the background? Why is it screaming? Maybe because of the red spot or something like that. Uh, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow uh, very sparingly. Uh, very sparingly. Thank you for that idea. So I'll do that, man. All right, bud. Uh, it's been a hell of a week, guys. I'm off tomorrow. I slept about five hours today because I worked last night. Then went back into work at 4.30 and worked. Oh, I know. No, I appreciate that very much. Uh, like, I toyed with this track for about two weeks and, like, lay in a pad to it and listen to it, you know, and select a different pad. So there's been a, a real meticulous process, probably more so than I have in any other, than in a track in a while, because 
like the bell arp thing I created, uh, made it an arpeggio where it uh, does its like twinkle twinkle thing, you know, basically. And then I added in, so there's another sound And it's not an art, but I put a real long attack on it in the case, so it just kind of, uh, here I can just play these two pieces real quickly together. You'll kind of understand what I'm talking about. Hold on. So that's layered over on top of the bells. And you wouldn't have known it's there unless I showed it to you like this or let you hear it like this. So it kind of gives it a weird little eerie sound to that bell, you know. Anyway. Oh, you like that how? Cool. Yeah, it kind of adds into it, right? The weirdness of it. I'm just kind of tweaking it, so just bear with me. It's called Fall Dark. Just a second, I'm saving that sound. So you...
good for sure.
Y'all have a good night. Uh, I'm out. I will see y'all tomorrow. And uh, much love, guys. Thank y'all so much for joining in. I do appreciate it. Wow. folks sir a lot of folks on there I got about nine lurkers at the moment that's awesome thank you guys very much I appreciate it uh, it's a new track probably be out this weekend with the video released on Bandcamp uh, I may put the track up I may just do this as a Bandcamp exclusive for the new album and not put it out on uh, SoundCloud at all uh, I'll have to play y'all a track that's only on Bandcamp. It was on Apple Music. It was on iTunes. A couple other track, a couple other streaming services. Uh, I'll have to play that for you later. It's like a nine-minute industrial, like hard, hardest thing I've ever done, hardest industrial grind track I've ever done in my life. But uh, I think y'all will like it. So appreciate your purgatory. Thank you for stopping by. As always, uh, speak with you tomorrow. You guys have a good night and uh, appreciate the feedback on the project. So much love and peace.